Hey, welcome back to the Zero Excuses Podcast, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Kenyon Zitska. Appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend a few minutes with me. This is the Deacons of Discipline series, and it's a short show that I bring to you every Monday and Friday where I play a soundbite from an influencer or read an impactful uh, snippet from a, a book I might have recently read and break that down into some strategies or mindset shifts or uh, a step-by-step process that you can implement into your life to get the results that you're that you're looking to get in life. So today I've got a little something different. I have a soundbite from a telecast from 1994 of ESPN's uh, Saturday Night Thunder uh, series. It was a uh, series that ran uh, up until the early 2000s uh, featuring the United States Auto Club uh, racing divisions, the midgets, the sprint cars, uh, silver crown cars, uh, often running in the Midwest at places like Indianapolis Raceway Park, Winchester Speedway, Salem Speedway. And uh, this telecast was from the night before the Indianapolis 500 midget car race. And the prior week, uh, there was an unfortunate incident where uh, the three-time national uh, sprint car division champion Robbie Stanley was killed uh, the prior Thursday night at Winchester Speedway. And the sound clip I'm going to play is Dave Despain play, paying a little tribute to uh, Robbie Stanley uh, you know, during the next race. And there's a very, very powerful um, message that I think everyone needs to hear uh, from Dave at about the two minute mark. I'm gonna, usually I cut right to the chase with these sound bites, uh, but for, you know, to have the proper context, I think you need to hear the entire uh, sound clip. It's about two and a half minutes, but, uh, you know, I'll just go ahead and play it for you guys and then stick around. Um, I'm gonna break that down and, you know, I, this is something I watch live. It really, uh, it's it's really stuck with me over the years and you know it's really ringing true now that uh, i've stepped into this like whole personal development space so here it is dave despain indianapolis raceway park irp summertime home for the sound of thunder but we begin tonight without the flashy video we won't even cue the band we focus instead on our special feelings for those brave souls with the will to win. Hello everyone, I'm Dave Despain. In this racing season already stalked by tragedy, the USAC community, our community, have this week lost a champion. Number 69, Robbie Stanley, three times king of the sprint car division, died at the wheel at Winchester Speedway. And so we come sadly to IRP and this 49th annual night before the 500. Over my shoulder, the excitement is about to begin, and a bit further up 16th Street, the huge crowd is already gathering for tomorrow's 78th running of the 500 itself. The arenas await us, but on nights like this, it's tough to move inside. So let's take a moment to prepare ourselves, a quiet moment before the engines roar, a moment of silence shared with the fans and friends of Robbie Stanley, in which we try to put his death into perspective. That's what he would have wanted. How often we hear that phrase at times like this. We come to the next race knowing that's what Robbie would have wanted. He gave his life for the thing he loved most, driving race cars. That's what Robbie would have wanted. Are those just words with which we hope to comfort Ron and Rita, Ryan and Michelle? Words with which we justify our own love of a sport in which men sometimes die? No, I don't think so. I think that somewhere behind those words, we find a basic division within the human family. Over there, the vast majority fear death above all else, avoid its risk at all cost, and pray that they will go in their sleep, never looking the inevitable in the eye. But over here, the arena is reserved for those special few, for those who climb mountains, fight wars, fly to the moon, drive race cars. Those special few accept that death is the inevitable consequence of living. They refuse to hide from the inevitable. They conquer their fear, live their life to the fullest, and most will roar into old age with wonderful memories of it all. We head into the arena tonight with our own memories of one who will not make it to old age, 
but we are greatly comforted by the knowledge that Robbie Stanley was among those special few. So the biggest takeaway for me and what I think you should uh, take away from this soundbite is that if you want to get next level results, results that 98% of the people out there only dream about, you need to start doing things that, that most people don't do. Most people don't plan their days out in epic detail. Most people don't meditate. Most people don't take risks. Most people play things safe. You have to start to take risks. And when you do start doing some of these things, people are going to start uh, questioning why you're doing those things, why you're doing so these crazy habits, adopting these crazy routines, um, starting pay, paying painful attention to detail, and people are going to start questioning your motives. People are gonna and people are gonna become may even become uncomfortable around you because you are doing these things, and people are gonna doubt you. They're, the other thing that obviously stands out, and I think is a little more, it's plainly obvious uh, at what. Dave was alluding to during this sound clip is that that we need to that if you want to live life to the fullest you can't fear death whatsoever you can't fear the things that are going to happen you have to live your life to the fullest right this minute we I'm not I don't know what's going to happen five minutes from now but I'll be damned if I don't give my all to recording this podcast right now I want this to be the best you know, my best effort right now. So I'm not going to let anything stop me from doing that. And you need to carry that attitude into each and every activity that, uh, that you partake in throughout the day. So that's what I have for you guys. Uh, don't forget to hop into our uh, closed Facebook group over at facebook.com slash groups slash zero excuses. Excuses is spelled without the E, X, C, U, S, E, S. And if you're looking to implement many of the things that we talk about and you need the accountability, the resources, the, the habits, the routines, the strategies, uh, and you, you want to be around like-minded folks that are going in the same direction, I encourage you to check out our Infinite Results Mastermind at kenyanziska.com slash results. And if you need that one-on-one -on -one accountability and you really need that someone to show you your blind spots and take the right actions to get you to your goals. I offer a one-on-one -on -one coaching program, discipline coaching. You can check that out at kennyanzitska.com slash discipline. You'll fill out a short survey and have the opportunity to schedule a 60-minute one-on-one consultation with me, and we'll see if we're a good fit. And I also want to say that this is only for those who are really looking to dedicate the time energy, resources, and money into getting the results and, and having life-changing habits and routines implemented into their lives. All right, guys, thanks again for tuning in, and I will chat with you again soon.